Uh, when I came to Santa Rosa, that was in 2001, I had just completed my surgical training at UC Davis Medical Center in Sacramento. And I was looking for a job. I wanted to stay on the West Coast, and particularly I wanted to stay in California, because that's where I've grown up and that's where my family resides. And um, I grew up in a small house um, that was in an area that used to be formerly known as South Central Los Angeles. Now they refer to it as South Los Angeles. Um, it was not too far from the epicenter of the LA riots. I ended up ultimately living with my dad and growing up in an area of Los Angeles that bordered um, sort of LA and Compton. And then ultimately went through the Compton School District. I would say the, the, the big uh, motivators in my life were uh, my dad. He really reinforced I think the understanding that education was going to be the way out, that it was going to be the currency that led to me getting to where I needed to be in life and being successful. You know, having experienced a lot of the things that I experienced growing up, I found it very important for me to volunteer my time to helping, you know, kids who I feel like were pretty much where I was. Volunteering allows me the opportunity to really reach out. And one program was Operation Access. I realized that there was a huge need for patients who needed care, surgical care, here in our community. I know I've been doing it for quite some time now. I'm probably getting close to 10 years involved in the program, um, and I've probably treated over 200 patients. And then also, I do some volunteering with some kids at Piner High School, where I give a talk, and it's really, a, it's unscripted. You know, I sit there, I provide a PowerPoint, and I tell them about what it's like to be a surgeon. But there's usually one or two kids every year who after I've left and had a conversation with them will ask the teacher to shadow me. And for the first time for many of these kids, it's the first time that they've actually been on that side of things in a hospital, working with professionals. And I think it gives them an opportunity to see what, what they might become, you know? And so for me, it's very rewarding in doing that. And when I hear reports back from those that I've reached out to who tell me that, oh yeah, that kid that shadowed you, you know, they're in their third year. They're going to nursing school. Or they're doing something that, you know, they remember what you showed them. They remember when you talked to them, the things you said. And those are opportunities that really you can't, you can't script them. You can't plan for them. And for me, that's what keeps me doing what I like to do. And I don't do it for obviously any recognition. I don't do it because it's something that I'm supposed to do. I do it because it's something that I want to do.